So this is problem number three on the final review sheet. And it is uh, an absolute value equality, but I have a variable on both sides of the equal sign. So that means I'm going to have to check for extraneous solutions. So let's set, set up our two equations. Let's get a pen. Black pen. x plus 1 is equal to 4x and then over here we'll put x plus 1 is equal to negative 4x. Let's do this side first and the first thing we want to do is isolate our x on one side of the equation so I will subtract x from this side and I will subtract x from that side and that is going to give me 1 is equal to 3x or x is equal to 1 third. We'll come back and check that in a minute. Let's do the other side and we're going to uh, again subtract x from this side and we will subtract x from that side. So over here I'm going to have 1 is equal to negative 5x or x is equal to negative one-fifth. Now if we're going to check the solutions, we have to remember we're going to check them as part of the original equation. So, I have on this side one-third plus one, absolute value thereof, is it equal to four times one-third? Well, <clears throat> absolute value of 4 thirds, is that equal to 4 thirds? Yes, it is. So that one is a good solution. How about over on this side? I'm going to check it. I have to have put in the absolute value sign. So absolute value of negative 1 fifth plus 1, is that equal to negative 4 times negative 1 fifth. Sorry that 5 doesn't look like a 5. But this looks like this would give me an answer of the absolute value of 4 fifths. Does that equal, since I'm multiplying a negative times a negative, this would also be 4 fifths. So absolute value of 4 fifths equals 4 fifths, yes. So both of these solutions work. does not look like I have any extraneous solutions. That is the way I would solve this problem.